The book of Jude. Jude is one of the shortest letters in the New Testament written to the early church, and yet it is nonetheless powerful and effective for helping us as followers of Jesus to be conformed and molded into the image of Jesus. See, Jude was written by Jude, and it was written somewhere between the years of 65 and 80 AD, and Jude himself was the half-brother of Jesus. And he was actually the full brother of James who wrote the book of James. And in the Gospels, we find out a little bit more about Jude, that Jude growing up actually never placed his faith in Jesus as the Messiah. But upon the resurrection of Jesus, everything changed for Jude. And Jude placed his faith in Jesus. So much so that actually when you read the beginning of this letter, Jude does not identify himself as the half-brother of Jesus but instead calls himself the bond servant of Jesus. See, Jude emphasized his new relationship with the resurrected Jesus and prioritized that over his blood relationship as the half-brother of Jesus. And Jude is writing to not just a specific church or a specific city, but really he's, re he's responding to Christians everywhere. See, the book of Jude, it's not really an evangelistic track. It's not trying to convince non-believers to put their faith in Jesus. Jude is a follower of Jesus, writing to followers of Jesus. And the primary thing Jude wants to communicate to us is to contend for our faith. See, Jude wanted to emphasize that there are two ways, two primary ways for us as followers of Jesus to contend for our own faith. And the first one is to understand the true meaning and purpose of grace. And the second is to make Jesus alone Lord. See, the first thing that Jude started to notice is there was people that had started to come into the church that had misunderstood what grace really meant. See, they emphasized a grace that had freed them from their past, but now allowed them to do whatever they wanted, whenever they wanted. And Jude was saying, that is not the grace that Jesus has taught. See, Jesus has taught a grace that is undeserved favor. It's a grace that reaches into your past and forgives you, but it also is a grace that teaches you how to live God's best for your life. And the second way he wanted us as Christians to contend for our faith is to make Jesus alone Lord. See, these same people that had misunderstood grace had also begun to put themselves on the throne of their own hearts. See, they decided we wanted to make ourselves Lord instead of Jesus as Lord. And Jude wanted to emphasize the natural consequences of what happened when we become Lord. See, Jude telling us that we make terrible gods. And Jude is not afraid to use every picture he can think of from creation, from an Old Testament reference to a word picture or an image to help describe the pain and devastation of what happens when we do not understand grace and when we do not make Jesus Lord. See, Jude, it's a letter of invitation. I think as a follower of Jesus, it's an invitation for us to look inward, to really look inward and be examined by the letter of Jude, to search if there's any offensive way in us, and then to place our trust in a God who will complete the work that he has begun in us. See, my prayer for you is that actually the last few verses of the book of Jude become your foundation for the entire letter, but also the foundation of your life as a disciple. See, Jude writes, but you beloved, but you beloved, may you beloved son, beloved daughter, remain in the center of the perfect love of your father. And so my prayer for you is that no matter how dark the world gets around you, you beloved remain in the perfect love of your father and that your faith may be built up as you read.